welcome back to the Old City Canvas video blog. Today, we're going to talk about what's catching our eye on the art scene these days. We'll bring you some projects from Mexico, New York City, Paris, Varso, and also we have a special exclusive interview with Black Lerat. In Saltillo, Mexico, Mural Central was a project created by Arto with Mexican artists Jorge Tellaeche, La Super Demon, and really cool local artists as well. The project aims to desmitify misconceptions about public art, such as vandalism. Mural Central aims to generate interest from people and local artists to make murals a common form of expression and social integration. Wonder Common Gallery in Milan is going north and they will open a new space in Milan, Italy with Black Lerat and we have an interview with him. Please listen this. Propaganda because um, it's a long story. When I was a kid in the early 60s, I made a trip in Italy with my parents and I saw vestige, you know, of the World War II graffiti in the city called Padova. This graffiti that I saw was made with a stencil. It was the um, the portrait of Mussolini and my father explained to me that it was made during the World War II and uh, the fascists were used to make their propaganda uh, that like that. So I, keep, I kept that in my mind for a long, long time. When I started to make graffiti, I wanted to um, reproduce uh, this concept of propaganda. A social statement is very important. We have a problem of immigrants, you know, coming from uh, Syria yeah. in Europe. But uh, when I see all artists now, they take the subject of uh, uh, problem of immigrants, problem of uh, to uh, to promote themselves. You know, actually they don't care about the immigrants. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. I like when someone uh, do it because if, uh, when they make it because they feel it and they they get involved really in the problem of uh, I don't know of homeless or uh, immigrants or uh, some uh, I don't know uh, what subject but uh, uh, when some when someone is completely involved in it okay. Chinese artist Ai Weiwei hangs bamboo plus kite creations at Le Bon Marché. Ai Weiwei turns the historic retail space into his playground with an expensive exhibition of bamboo and paper installations. For El Shi, meaning child's play, Ai Weiwei reference to Shanghai Yuning, a collection of epic tales and popular legends that dates back to Chinese history, told by children for more than 2,000 years. The artist selected some characters and mythological creatures to personify inside the space. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that Pan Generator and Disney animate a listen Mickey Mouse installation using visual rhythmic playback? Mickey Phone is an interactive kinetic audiovisual sculpture inspired by the figure of Mickey Mouse. The installation is on the show at the Museum for Children at the National Ethnographic Museum in Warsaw. The result, an interactive installation which will connect energy, joy and fun. Mickey Phone samples sounds from the surroundings, turning them into musical rhythm sequences. Its sound is shaped by audience taking part of the interaction. Just watch this. In New York City, Hosh created Bandel's Restaurant Decor. Located in Bowery, Bandel is the latest restaurant launched by the Tao Group and Chef Chris Santos. Bandel celebrates the art, architecture and food of global street culture from New York to Vietnam to Barcelona and beyond. The interiors featuring murals and installations from seven international recognized Bandels have been commissioned to create site-specific installations inside and outside the restaurant including Hosh himself, Shepard Ferry, Apex, Tristan Eden, Elos, Beals, and Will Barras. For those interested in the look of the place and the food, 
Don't forget to pass by and try the lobster and sweet potato soup dumplings, as well as inventive cocktails like Las Palmitas. Well, thank you so much for tuning back and keep these projects on the loop. Give us a follow and see you on the flip.